Sorry, didn't see you there. Just training the guns for the bodybuilding competition. Did I hear you say bodybuilding competition? Stop. I know what you're thinking. There's a lot of negative connotations associated with bodybuilding. But I promise you, bodybuilding is not the problem. And now we're going to interview real people to see what they think about bodybuilders. Sir, what do you think about bodybuilders? <laughs> I think it's a bunch of big people who just can't get big enough. Sir, what do you think about people who bodybuild? Insecure. Sir, what do you think about people who bodybuild? Ah. Do you think bodybuilding causes body dissatisfaction, body distortion? Yes. Do you think bodybuilding is the direct cause of steroid use? Of course. Oh. Do you think bodybuilding is directly correlated to self-obsession? Oh, yeah. This is a common misconception. Bodybuilding is not responsible for these negative attributes associated with the sport. It's easy to make that assumption when we don't look at the whole picture. But when you look at the whole picture, you can see the problems are not directly correlated to bodybuilding. They're just more commonly associated with the sport. In actuality, social pressures and changing gender roles are the core causes of these problems in our society. How do these things contribute to the problems that men experience in our society? Well, men experience social pressures in every second of every day, whether it be magazines, newspapers, or the media. Men see the lifestyles advertised by the media for men with perfect physiques, and they seek to have this kind of lifestyle. Now the catch is, most men cannot naturally obtain this kind of physique, so they turn to unhealthy dietary habits and steroid use to obtain this kind of lifestyle. This leads to body dissatisfaction and body distortion, leaving men unable to assess, assess their own body size, as well as creating a self-hatred due to their inability to meet the goals set by the media. Now that you understand how social pressures influence these problems, let me explain to you how gender role changes also influence these. Our society used to be male dominated with a strict divide between the genders. But thanks to gender role changes and progress, the rigid divide has decreased significantly, leaving men unable to express masculinity. Best stated in the Journal of Popular Culture, men often feel powerless and unsure of themselves due to the disparity between masculine traits they are expected to uphold and the social realities of daily life. Hatfield argued that social changes which strip individuals of real power may lead to a denial of powerlessness in which flamboyant displays of cultural symbols such as masculinity offer some men a compensatory means by which they can construct and validate a particular masculine identity. Body work provides men with sight, their bodies, a cultural practice, the disciplinary regimens and discourses of bodybuilding with which to redress personal anxieties through the pursuit of muscular image that embodies normative muscularity. What? In other words, men feel they can display their masculinity through the sport of bodybuilding. Again, feeling the pressure to display masculinity creates the problems commonly associated with bodybuilding. Despite the common belief that bodybuilding leads to body distortion, dissatisfaction, steroid use, and self-obsession, the actual causes are social pressures and gender role changes, which lead people to bodybuild. So next time you see somebody at the gym bodybuilding, you know that it's a result of the problems, not the cause.